Hi, this is Jessica Schur with Herflix here at Tribeca 2014. We have some awesome interviews for you, women in film, here at Tribeca. And we're back. I'm here with uh, yet another wonderful film here at Tribeca. We have Manos Sucias, and I have two producers with me. I have Marcia Nunez, one of our wonderful producers, and I also have Elena Greenlee. I'd like to know first, where are you guys, what about you guys? What brought you over to the world of filmmaking? Great question, tough question. Um, I came to filmmaking through, actually through photography. Um, I started in high school um, with photography and short story writing, and those just sort of melded together into documentary film for me at first and um, when I started to look around at kind of um, some f film student short films um, I noticed that people who made documentaries who had a background in narrative filmmaking had just these amazing visual storytelling skills that I also wanted and uh, that led me to apply to graduate film school at NYU and I just fell in love so I the first time I was out on a shoot I just thought to myself if this is a job. I can't imagine any other job that I would want. I came into film through theater, actually. I studied mm -hmm. theater in high school, and when I first moved to New York, I worked at an off-Broadway play over here in Chelsea, in fact, near where we are right now. And from that, I started getting more interested in reaching wider and wider audiences, and film has a much stronger arm than theater does for that. So I went to grad school to study film business. And now, where did you guys meet? Did you meet on this project, or had you known each other before? Um, we met on Manos Sucias. We were actually introduced by um, a professor that we had in common at NYU um, in two different, he teaches in different schools at NYU, at Tisch Graduate Film, and also in Stern. Um, so he had heard about Manos Sucias and put the director in touch with Marcia. And I was involved in the project because I studied with the director and co-writer. Um, uh, in the graduate film program. Yeah, that, yeah there that, you go. That sums it up. <laughs> <laughs> and as far as like the, the you know, being on set, because first of all, you weren't here, you were in Columbia, which is far, mm -hmm. and also you used actors that were locals, and you used a Columbia crew, Colombian crew, right? Um, what was it like to have such a raw talent on set? So I think on set, it was really interesting because we did actually have half of the people on set and half the people not on set. So while Elena spent three months in Colombia, which was incredible, and I don't know how she did this, <laughs> um, I was here in the U.S. taking care of um, the cash flow issues and yeah. insurance issues and all those questions that you really need a strong working internet connection for and you can't do in the middle of the jungle. <laughs> um, and then in terms of the crew, most of the crew was in fact Colombian. And Yeah, and it, it was really interesting to um, have a mixed crew. Um, we brought our DP, who's also the co-writer of the script, Alan Blanco, um, with us from the US. Um, we brought his two camera assistants with us from the US and also Joseph, the director's translator, came with us from New York. So um, we had a kind of New York element in our crew and then the rest was all Colombian and largely local from Buenaventura. And it was really, really interesting. We kind of like to talk about it as like a cross-cultural marriage. Um, there's a lot of just quirks we needed to work out about communication and um, you know, work styles and what people were used to, and it was um, it was a challenge, but it was it was fun. And the cast um, the cast is all local to Buenaventura. They're um, actually students um, and recent graduates of the Dramatic Arts program in a local university, and they were just amazing to work with. I mean, they just brought all of the like energy and talent and like dispositions just like work really really hard and jump in the water and get their hands dirty yeah. <laughs> to use a corny metaphor. Spike Lee did come on board at some point. Did you work with him one-on-one -on -one or he kind of gave you some pointers and you, you continued your work? So Spike has been the director's mentor and teacher for several years now. Joe studied with him at NYU as did Elena and Alan who's the co-writer and DP and he gave Joseph a grant to continue his research into the film before we even um, came on board while Joseph was still in school and that really led to the creation of the script that ultimately brought Elena and I on board and once we showed him the rough cut he just completely loved it and said he'd love to come on board as an executive producer and presenter. What is it about? It's a dramatic drug thriller because it's really it's a relationship movie and it is really at its core in a story about two brothers and a story about the loss of innocence of the younger brother. It is a story about drug trafficking where this stuff is really going on um, constantly and and we think that it's important that people kind of open their eyes to it so we hope to bring it we hope to bring it to audiences. You've been watching a Herflix moment.